What would cause a biblically committed Trinitarian minister to reject the doctrine of the Trinity and embrace biblical bonitarianism? And what exactly is that anyway? Those are great biblical questions, and this is the place for some really great biblical answers. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Biblical Bonitarian Channel. My name is Mario, and I am the former Trinitarian minister who now rejects the doctrine of the Trinity, but fully embraces Biblical Bonitarianism. This is the second in a three-part video series where I explain the basics of Biblical Bonitarianism, as well as provide my backstory in how I came to reject the Trinity and embrace this view. You'll see links below in the description to the first video where I provide the overview of Biblical Bonitarianism. In this video, I want to explore for you a little bit more of how I came to this position, being a former Trinitarian. Well, I came to follow Christ very young. In fact, it was through a series of tragedies and challenges in my life at a young age where I was brought to the conviction that I needed not only God, but I needed a Savior. In addition to being confronted with death, the death of my father, I also was confronted with my own potential mortality and my need to address these truths. I also knew that I was a sinner and I needed a savior. And so by God's grace, I was brought to faith in Christ Jesus and I was baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I joined my local church where I immediately began participating in Sunday school, youth group, and many other events, including the regular teaching of the word. I love God. And I love Christ, and I love the teaching of the Word. And most importantly, I would repeatedly in that congregation hear a verse, Hebrews 11, verse 6, which says, And without faith is it impossible to please Him. For whoever would come, who would ever draw near to God, must believe that He exists, and that He will reward those who seek Him. That verse always amazed me, because right there, God was promising that if you sought Him, if you believe that He exists and you sought Him, He would reward you by being found by you. And I found that to be true even in my youth and now even as an older person. As I grew in my understanding of the scriptures and became a young man, I also grew my ability to teach, to preach, evangelize, and even defend the faith. I read many books, I studied, and eventually it was recognized that God had called me to preach. And I was licensed as a minister of the gospel by a church and recognized by other churches and to this day, I love to preach and I love to proclaim the truth of God's word. Well, what happened? Well, as you would imagine, I studied. I took verses like 2 Timothy 2.15 to heart, where Paul charged Timothy, do your best to present yourself to God as, a work, as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. This verse spurred me on to make sure that I was always willing to correct my life and my doctrine by the truth of the scriptures. And through these course corrections, I knew that there were certain things that I had taught or believed that were not quick, correctly aligned with scripture. And as a result, I changed these things. I adjusted. I did course corrections. And usually my goal was to adopt the view that was plainly taught by the Bible. Now, through many of these course corrections, I found myself... Uh, believing things that were still within the mainstream of Christianity. But eventually, as I was studying the doctrine of the Trinity, I said, let me go forth and set forth the doctrine of the Trinity in the Bible's own language, in its own logic, because I believe that it's in there. Through the course of that study, rather than becoming more convinced of the Trinity, I became more convinced of the clarity of the belief of one God the Father and one Lord Jesus Christ, both being fully divine and both of whom loving each other and also loving the church. And also became convinced that they were one spirit. We'll share more on this in the next video about the core beliefs of biblical bonitarianism and the biblical motivations that led me to this point. But alas, I came to a fork in the road where I had to make a choice. Would I continue with the traditions that I was raised or would I embrace the biblical teaching? And after much prayer and consideration, I chose to follow the scriptures, and today I'm very satisfied after many years later that that's the choice that I made. 
In the next video, we'll explore more of those biblical motivations and what led me to that conclusion. As always, in addition to liking, subscribing, and sharing this video, we'd appreciate your prayers and double deuces of grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching.